what is up imp knights in today's video i want to have a discussion with you guys about black lightning season one episode 12 but before i begin this video i want you guys to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and post a comment below and let me know what you guys think about my review of black lightning okay i want to do a brief recap on what happened on episode 11 and then we're gonna go to episode 12 also i'm probably going to skip what i think is the unnecessary parts parts to the story and so this is just an honorable mention that jefferson and and lynn you know pretty much made love and seem like they're reconciling and and trying to get their family back together but so that's an honorable mention but let's get back to this recap and in the recap is that Kara Foddy has set Jefferson Pierce up and had her had the dirty cops put green light in his car Henderson ends up getting him off of the crime and because Henderson got him off the crime you know Henderson became police chief as well as the fact that Jefferson and Gamby ends up reconciling or having a happy medium now their relationship isn't the same it's they're they're trying to work on it pretty much but we get to the present in episode 12 where Martin and Tobias strikes a deal and the deal and the parameters of the deal is that Tobias has to get Black Lightning alive he can't kill him he has to get him alive if he does that then he could take lady eve's place in in the organization the asa organization this of course even though he agrees to it is it is of course he's not too happy of having black lightning alive and one of the things that he begins plotting is to get rid of martin proctor he wants to get rid of him because he's not feeling it at all um we end up after a while we end up seeing that jefferson ends up running into khalil and khalil is obviously walking when he shouldn't be walking because the last time we saw khalil he was in a wheelchair so jefferson although happy to see khalil he's wondering how is he able to walk and he asks the people that did this what did they do and <laughs> khalil tells him that he must be in his own world and that he's walking that's what matters the most and the procedure they put like something in his spine to get him to walk and what jefferson says is that maybe you know you come back to the school khalil declines that because he he's feeling some type of way he felt like jefferson abandoned him he felt like a lot of people a lot of schoolmates whatever abandoned him so he runs off this causes jefferson to talk to jennifer and tell jennifer you know pretty much stay away from khalil because khalil's not the same person that um he used to be this leads into when um oh man man i drew a blank but this leads into jennifer explaining to jefferson that she's hoping that um she can't wait for her until lynn fixes her because lynn and jennifer had a talk about her powers and her abilities and you know lynn said that she's thinking about isolating the gene to give her the option to see if she wants to have her powers or not and just study it to see what what they can do pretty much which of course that doesn't make jefferson too happy so you know jefferson confronts her about it and you know they have a little bit of an argument which ends with jefferson walking away from her now gamby gamby get revisit tommy the last time he gave tommy a, a venom a black mamba venom and 
it was paralyzing and gave him the antidote. This time he had like a gun and gave him an ultimatum about giving him what he wants or he will have his enemies give up his location to his enemies. Which of course Tommy ends up doing it because you know he ain't trying to have his enemies know his location or his family. We then go into the fact that Jefferson ends up talking to Khalil's mother. And when he talks to her, she didn't even. The, the crazy part is that when Khalil started walking, he didn't even tell his own mother that he was back. So she had no clue that he was back in Freeland. She still thought he was in California or I think that's where they was at, California. And she was still thinking he was out there, but he was actually back in Freeland. And the thing is that um their mother i should say their mother his mother i'm sorry his mother ends up um giving uh jefferson the the place that the place that um did khalil's uh, procedure good god my bad y'all i drew a massive blank on that one that was just a brain freeze on that one so my bad y'all um khalil ends up meeting jennifer after texting her and jennifer obviously she's a 16 year old little girl so she she decides she ain't listening to her dad and ends up um, going to see Khalil anyway they have a heartfelt talk but you know Khalil wanted to get back with her but she just asked how did you get the procedure done and that kind of rubbed Khalil the wrong way and he ends up leaving her and she ends up seeing that you know he has changed a little bit and then we see my boy Lala like I ain't see my boy in a minute but my boy Lala, who was talking to one of his henchmen, and during that conversation, he was putting his henchmen up on game about why you shouldn't abuse people under you. Only he's allowed to do it. And then he gets a mysterious phone call that says the, the devil holds the cards, and it, it appears like Lala's being controlled because it seems like when that word comes, he's under that person's command. What we also end up learning is that Tobias tells Khalil to attack his school. Now, of course, Khalil originally didn't want to do it, but at this point, he's doing what, you know, Proctor want. And that is to get draw black lightning. So he has Khalil do it, which, you know, Khalil ends up doing. And during that, he pretty much tells jennifer to leave and, and that's when black lightning and thunder show up now while black lightning and thunder show up we see that cyanide actually had the kids hostage waiting on thunder and when she shoots thunder it doesn't do anything and a uh, uh, battle is soon now the fight scenes that i thought was pretty cool to see cyanide and thunder because cyanide started learning that when thunder holds her breath she's invulnerable but when she exhales she could get hit or hurt i should say so during that battle she observed it and you know they were you know battling and jennifer tried to help you know she was trying to but she can't she's not good with her powers yet so because she's not good with her powers yet it ain't really too much she can do <laughs> you know what i'm saying and 